So I'm gonna show you guys how to get to the top 10 in Guardian Games for the second week. What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how we got over 350,000 points in the competitive playlist for Guardian Games without any single cheese. I will, however, skip all of the traveling parts to make this video a little bit shorter for your sake. <laughs> Believe it or not, getting to the top 10% is easier than you think. You really need a group of people that are very coordinated, so I probably wouldn't do this without your entire group having mics. In short, the key to getting the top 10% is to emote and then finish every honored and champion that spawns. A mic is important because you want to make sure that you guys coordinate so you guys do not kill the honored or champion before you can emote and then um, actually finish them. Doing this will grant you the finishing touches as well as the insult to injury medals each time that you actually do it. Each honored or champion enemy will give you like 10,000 points if you actually do this correctly. We actually did emotes and finishers on everything that wasn't a red bar enemy. However, there are a few enemies that we weren't able to finish and we kind of make a couple mistakes during this because we accidentally killed them or because you aren't able to actually finish them. Just make sure that it says that you did the emote on the bottom left of the screen before you actually do the finisher or you won't get both medals. This next area, you will spend the majority of your time in this mission. In the vehicle bay, you wanna milk all of the honored enemies in this area. They will be all over the map, but your focus will be on the top left and right sides. They will come out the door in either a group of two or a single enemy after you kill the first ones when you first get into the area. The vehicle bay will also have barrier champions too, and it's a little bit easier um, in order to kill them if you kill the red bar enemies to get them out of the way. Also, kill the interceptor pilots. They can kill you when you least expect it and they are the scions driving the interceptors. When you get far enough, kill only one of the tanks that spawn in order to make more honored enemies spawn in. You can literally stay here for the majority of the mission, but remember when the timer hits 20 minutes, your multiplier and your points do go down, so make sure everyone, or at least one person, is paying attention to that. In the next few rooms, you will have a few red bar enemies, including turrets, mixed with honored enemies, and like one barrier champion. Just take care of them doing the same thing that you have in the previous room. Right before the elevator, be very careful not to kill everything so fast. There are a lot of honored enemies mixed with red bar enemies and one unstoppable champion. When you get to the boss room, melt the boss as fast as you can so he puts up his white shield, then head to the left side of the room to take care of the unstoppable champion. Once he's low enough, go ahead and emote and then finish him and then focus on all of the other ads. When all of the ads are gone, focus on the boss and take down his giant orange shield, then rinse and repeat. In this room, the final boss room only has three phases with only two unstoppable champions and there are no honored enemies at all. Just a whole bunch of red enemies. Hopefully this actually helps you guys out to at least get up to 300K. And if it does, let me know down in the comments. And that my friends brings us to the end of the video. If you are new here, feel free to subscribe to my channel and like the video if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Hey, hey you, watch these videos too. I know you like them. Go, 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 go.